Reverend Insanity Chapter 1766 One Step Back, Sea and Sky Expands The sky was pure and blue, white clouds resembled snow. A strong breeze was blowing over the autumn grassland. Under the sunlight, golden waves could be seen as the grass moved in synchronization. And amidst these waves, there was a huge black city. From a bird's eye view, this city was large but has a strict structure. The outer city walls resembled huge rock monoliths, they were black like ink. The surface of the rocks had undergone weathering, the vicissitudes of time were carved on them. The entire city was a hexagon, it was situated on the grassland. The city walls were more than 200 li long, they were a hundred feet tall and tens of feet thick. It was a grand sight. If a person stood on the grassland, they would see a huge black beast sprawling. If they got closer, they would need to raise their heads to look up at the huge city gate and walls. Every edge of the city had defensive towers that were filled with countless holes that could shoot out arrows. Every few lie apart, there would be a wide path for horse carriages to move on. There were even very secretive armories within the city walls. For mortals, just the city wall was impenetrable. During the Northern Plains Imperial Court Contest, this grand wall had resisted Gu Master armies tens of times without falling. Passing the city walls, one would arrive at the vibrant world within. This city had over 800,000 people, there were Gu Masters of all sorts. The city had many streets and shops, there were great numbers of houses and palaces. People and carriages were bustling, there was an endless flow of activity. Loud noises could be heard constantly, this was truly a lively city. And the most special trait, this city was most populous in Inkmen. Walking on all the streets and alleys, one could see few humans, but Inkmen could be seen anywhere. This was a city for the Inkmen. This was a unique city in Northern Plains, it was special even in the five regions. This was Inkman City. Rumble. Intense rumbling noises could be heard. Earthquakes resounded as the peace and order of the city was disrupted. What happened? Did the earth crack? There had been rumors for the last few years that the earth would crack and form earth trenches that extend deep into the earth core. Save me. Mother. At once, the city went into chaos. Countless mortals were running around in panic. There was complete chaos. Dust rumbled. The whole of Inkman City's houses and city walls started to shine in a halo of light. Next, Inkman City floated up. It was soaring into the sky. Oh my lord, Inkman City is flying. It's flying? Were the rumors true? Inkman City is really a mortal goo house. Oh my heaven. This mortal goo house is so huge, this is unheard of. The mortals were incredibly shocked, they shouted in disbelief. Right at this time, an immortal killer move flew over, spreading a huge green light that enveloped the whole of Inkman City. Sleep, go ahead and sleep for a while. Fang Yuan smiled lightly as he floated among the clouds. A male Inkman immortal was standing beside him. He was the Inkman City Lord, King of the Northern Plains Inkmen, Rank 6 Gu Immortal Mo Tan Sang. He was one of the two remaining Gu Immortals of Inkman City. Due to Fang Yuan's Wisdom Path Immortal Killer move, Inkman City's mortals fell into deep sleep. The entire city became silent all of a sudden. Inkman City shrunk and became smaller. A moment later, it entered Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture successfully. This Inkman city has 800,000 people. In the past, the legendary Inkman Gu Immortal Yi Yan created it, and it has developed until today. Central Continent has the number one human city, Emperor City. My Inkman city can be considered half an emperor city. Fang Yuan recruited the Inkman Gu Immortals. He would naturally not give up their greatest asset. From now on, you will continue to be the Inkman City Lord. Develop it, nurture more Inkman Gu Immortals. My sovereign immortal aperture has sufficient space for you to display your skills. Fang Yuan smiled as he said to Mo Tan Sang. 
Mo Tan Sang had an excited expression. He quickly knelt down and paid respects to Fang Yuan. I, Mo Tan Sang, am willing to assist Lord Fang Yuan. I will do my best to develop Ink Man City. Hmm, go inside too. Fang Yuan smiled plainly. Mo Tan Sang obediently entered Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture. He followed Ink Man City and landed in Mini Western Desert. Fang Yuan had chosen the location long ago. Once Ink Man City landed, the dust clouds dispersed, the sleeping mortals started to wake up. Mo Tan Sang gave out orders meticulously. He controlled the situation and maintained Ink Man City's stability. Mo Tan Sang was feeling very complex now. When facing Fang Yuan, he did not dare to show any impoliteness. Mo Tan Sang had interacted with Fang Yuan long ago when he was still rank 6. Mo Tan Sang had even sold Tai Bai Yun Sheng the Nine Clouds Ring Mortal Killer move as a favor to befriend them. Right now, Tai Bai Yun Sheng was dead while Fang Yuan had rank 8 cultivation level. His terrifying battle strength and incredible battle records eliminated any sense of rebellion in his heart. Fang Yuan came to retrieve Ink Man City. Mo Tan Sang had learned about it in advance. He cooperated fully during the process. Fang Yuan smiled internally. Mo Tan Sang is indeed a talented person. I remember that in the 500 years of my previous life, this person led Ink Man City and nurtured many Ink Man Gu immortals. He cooperated with Ma Hong Yun on equal status. During the Five Regions Chaotic War, not only did he raise his cultivation level, he even expanded Ink Man City to hundreds of cities all over Northern Plains. With him governing Ink Man City, and without any rival forces in Mini Western Desert, his future prospects are very bright. Mo Tan Sang was a talented leader. Not only did he have unique foresight and courage to take resolute actions, he could also bow and submit when necessary. He was not someone who could be belittled. As long as he had a chance, he would turn around the situation and create miracles for himself. In this aspect, he was like a weaker Wu Yang. But because of his variant human identity, he did not have a good cultivation environment, he had always been troubled by his circumstances. As long as he had a chance, his development would not be restricted to this. Fang Yuan was not worried about his growth, he was happy to see it happen. This was the magnanimity of an expert, this was Fang Yuan's confidence in himself. No matter how Mo Tan Sang grew, Fang Yuan was confident in controlling and manipulating him for his own use. There was actually some risk in relocating Ink Man City. Heavenly Court might have tried to ambush him during this process. If Fairy Zai Wai deduced the origins of the participating Ink Man Gu Immortals, knowing that they were from Ink Man City, she might realize that Fang Yuan would go after Ink Man City. In this case, even if Heavenly Court did nothing, as long as Fairy Zai Wai told this news to Longevity Heaven, they would also cause Fang Yuan great problems. But the lucky thing was, even after Fang Yuan obtained Ink Man City, there had been no problems, it was smooth sailing. Fang Yuan's main body quickly left, while his time path clone stayed with Lang Yalan spirit. The long hair refinement path formation was currently operating. Lang Yalan spirit controlled it personally and reported to Fang Yuan's clone, in about a month's time, the seal of Lang Ye's origin core will be fully removed. Fang Yuan nodded lightly, observing the formation. Every immortal aperture, be it blessed land or grotto heaven, would have an immortal aperture origin core. The immortal aperture origin core was the foundation of the immortal aperture, the base of it all. Developing the immortal aperture, annexing other immortal apertures, it would strengthen one's own Immortal Aperture Origin Core. When the Immortal Aperture Origin Core is damaged or drawn out, the painstakingly developed Immortal Aperture would reverse its progression, the space would shrink and the primeval energy would dwindle, life forms within would die en masse. The Immortal Aperture Origin Core was like a spirit spring. Goo Immortals were drawing Immortal Essence from the Origin Core itself. 
Langya Immortal Aperture was once a rank 8 grotto heaven. The Immortal Aperture origin core was a milky white lump. After Long Hair Ancestor died, Langya Heavenly Spirit could barely resist the rank 8 calamities and tribulations. After spending countless years, he found a solution. The Heavenly Spirit used a refinement path killer move to seal the Langya origin core. Its rank fell and became a red-colored rank 7 origin core. Langya Heavenly Spirit thus became Langya Land Spirit. But precisely so, the future calamities and tribulations that Langya Immortal Aperture faced were at rank 7. Fang Yuan was rank 8 now, but it was a fake rank 8. He had enough Dao marks, but his Immortal Aperture Origin Core was still the Red Origin Core. Only after Lang as origin core gets unsealed and returns to being the milky white rank 8 origin core would Fang Yuan become a true rank 8 Gu immortal. After annexing and fusing with it, his immortal aperture would become a grotto heaven. It would start producing white lichai immortal essence. This method of sealing the origin core and lowering the grade of the immortal aperture was extremely amazing. It had a huge significance. During normal times, most Gu Immortals would die from calamities and tribulations. Hu Immortal was one of such cases. She died from the Blue Charm Lightning Shadow Calamity, leaving behind Hu Immortal Blessed Land. If one could use this method to lower their rank by one, the Gu Immortal would be able to deal with calamities and tribulations more easily. They can even accumulate Dao marks and not fear that they cannot match the strength of the calamities and tribulations. Fang Yuan obtained this method, he liked it a lot. He praised Lang Yalan spirit about it for a long time. But Lang Yalan spirit told him instead, I am just mimicking. My main body obtained this method from Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. While Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable obtained this from Limitless Demon Venerable's inheritance. This killer move was originally a rule path killer move, named One Step Back. Afterwards, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable modified it extensively, creating the space path killer move Sea and Sky Expands. I am merely turning it into a refinement path version. It cannot be considered a modification or improvement. I am merely mimicking. Thus, I could not bring myself to give it a name. I fused the former two names together and called it One Step Back, Sea and Sky Expands. Fang Yuan heard this and sighed, to think that this method had such a long and impressive history. Immortal Killer move one step back, sea and sky expands. Very evidently, this was a support move to manage the Immortal Aperture. It did not have any offensive power. But its value and worth was immeasurable. If this was leaked out, the entire Gu Immortal world would benefit. The number of Gu Immortals in this world would surge by many times, even tens of times. From this aspect, Fang Yuan could see the immense talent and strength of Limitless Demon Venerable and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable. With this method, Limitless Demon Venerable and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable could easily accumulate Dao marks and past tribulations without problems. This method broke the norm of the Gu Immortal cultivation world. It removed the Gu Immortal's pressure from calamities and tribulations. They would not need to risk their lives they could deal with this without any pressure. This means that Limitless Demon Venerable and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable could accumulate Dao marks on par with rank 9 before becoming venerable. Fang Yuan said this sentence. But Lang Yalan spirit told him, Master, you are underestimating the venerables. According to Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable, when Limitless Demon Venerable was a Gu Master, he already had Gu Immortal level Dao marks. When he reached rank 6 and became a Gu Immortal, he had peak rank 8 Gu Immortal Dao Marks. Chapter 1767 Rank 8 Water Refinement Immortal Gu Lang Yalan Spirit Side Continuing, Every venerable is an invincible character, they had unthinkable talent and ability, they cannot be looked at with common sense. Underestimating them is our foolishness, it is an insult towards them. Fang Yuan nodded. He thought about the battle in the previous life. Every venerable's action could easily change the entire situation. 
overturning all of the Gu Immortals' hard work in an instant. Even though Duke Long was so powerful against a venerable method, he had absolutely no way to resolve it. Purely in terms of Dao marks, the difference between rank 8 and 9 is not that huge. But the truth is, the difference between rank 8 and 9 is as vast as heaven and earth. It can send someone into despair. This is simply because those are unique individuals. Man is the spirit of all living beings. Gu is the essence of heaven and earth. There are no invincible goo worms or killer moves. There are only invincible people. Look at Limitless Demon Venerable. He had rank 8 level Dao marks when he was still rank 6. When he reached rank 9, how many Dao marks would he have? Fang Yuan could not estimate it. Cultivation logic and common sense were not appropriate on venerables. Red Lotus Demon Venerable could rebirth countless times. Limitless Demon Venerable had such shocking Dao mark numbers. Star Constellation Immortal Venerable's plot affected heaven and earth, altering history. All these venerables were unfathomable. Or at least, for the current Fang Yuan, that was the case. In fact, in the Battle of Langya, Fang Yuan killed Thunder Ghost True Monarch and Chen Ye. He also stole Feng Ju Ji's fixed immortal travel. But what was his greatest gain? It was that he had expended one of Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable's methods. Karma Relocation In the previous life, Chen Yi had relied on this move to defend infallible blessed land until the end and stalled for a long time. It made Fang Yuan, Wu Yang, and Bing Sai Chuan lose their final opportunity to turn the situation around. Even though I expended the killer move Karma Relocation in advance, who knows how many methods these venerables have left behind. Maybe due to the influence of my rebirth, even more venerable methods might be triggered. By just relying on my rebirth advantage, I will become stronger than my previous life through constant accumulation. But that is not assuring enough. Who knows when a venerable's method will be triggered at a crucial moment. To destroy fate Gu, I alone am not enough. I need to obtain some venerable methods to play safe. Fang Yuan analyzed in his mind. A few days later. Southern border, plunder shadow earth trench, this was once Shadow Sex base, Fang Yuan had stayed here for some time. Afterwards, when Southern Border's Gu Immortals attacked and besieged him, Fang Yuan self-detonated a large number of pure dream reality seeker physique bodies, forming dream realms that stalled them while he escaped successfully. As a result, a large number of dream realms were left behind. Southern Borders Gu Immortals chose to set up a formation here to observe and research on the Dream Realms. Fang Yuan came here silently. He used a refinement path killer move. A drizzle started on the formation around these Southern Border Gu Immortals. The formation activated to resist the rain. Who is attacking us? HMPH, this formation is impenetrable. That's right, nobody can even dream of breaking through. The main Gu Immortals defending this place were Yong San Mu, Kai Qiu, and Zia Fan. They immediately became alert after the mysterious attack. Soon, they found Fang Yuan easily. He did not conceal himself. In fact, using this immortal killer move would cause his aura to surge and burst out. He could not hide it. Fang Yuan had only seen one person who could perfectly conceal his killer move's aura. That was Wu Yang. However, Fang Yuan still used familiar face to change his appearance. If he used his true appearance, wouldn't these defending Gu Immortals be scared to death? It's a rank 7 Gu Immortal. We are not sure who, but he has southern border aura. He must be a secluded cultivator. Within the formation, Zia Fan could not tell that it was Fang Yuan. He started to guess. By now, Lang Ya's origin core had been completely unsealed. Fang Yuan annexed it and became a true rank 8 Gu Immortal. But he purposely disguised his aura to be at rank 7. His familiar face killer move had been modified extensively during the final moments of the previous life. Right now, none of Southern Border's Gu Immortals could discover the truth. In order to prevent an expanding ink effect and to maintain his rebirth advantage, 
Fang Yuan still chose to do the same thing as in his previous life. He was still going to attack this defensive formation. At the same, he concealed his rank 8 cultivation level. On one hand, he was guarding against Heavenly Court. On the other hand, he was luring out Southern Borders Gu Immortals. According to his previous life's memories, with this development, Southern Border would organize a group to pursue Fang Yuan. If he exposed his rank 8 cultivation level, there would not be just one rank 8 Gu Immortal, Zia Cha, coming after him. It was natural that Fang Yuan pretended to be weak. The drizzle soon turned into a heavier rain as it penetrated the formation. Within the formation, Kai Qiu's expression changed. What refinement path killer move is this? It can actually refine our formation. This cannot go on anymore. Fang Yuan annexed Lang Ya Blessed Land. He obtained the Long Hair Refinement Path True Inheritance and a large number of Immortal Gu. There were originally three Rank 8 Immortal Gu. They were Water Refinement, Forceful Refinement, and Advanced Refinement. All three were Refinement Path Immortal Gu. When used alone, they had no offensive power. They were all support type. Among them, Forceful Refinement Immortal Gu could directly refine the Immortal Gu of others, it was the original core of the Immortal Goo House Refinement Cauldron, but Shadow Sect had stolen it back then. In that battle, Rank 8 Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus also got damaged. It had fallen to Rank 7 after that fight. Rank 8 Advanced Refinement Immortal Goo was the core of the Long Hair Refinement Path Formation. As for Rank 8 Water Refinement Immortal Goo, it was hidden within the Refinement Water. All along, Lang Ya Land Spirit had been using this goo and other supplementary goo worms to form an immortal killer move to convert the refinement path and water path Dao marks of Lang Ya Blessed Land into refinement water. Lang Ya Land Spirit's plan was to accumulate the refinement water, and after reaching a certain point, it would become the refinement sea. Refinement sea was a secluded domain of heaven and earth. Once it formed, it would replenish itself unceasingly. This was a grand plan. It consumed an immense amount of refinement path, Dao marks, wealth, time, and energy. After Fang Yuan annexed Lang Ya Blessed Land, he wisely halted this plan. He took out the water refinement Immortal Goo within for his own use. The killer move that Fang Yuan was using now had rank 8 water refinement Immortal Goo as the core. Fang Yuan used many goo worms to suppress the rank 8 aura disguising it as rank 7. This was also part of his tactic to express weakness. No worry, how can this rank 7 killer move break our formation? Kai Kiyu said with a prideful tone. This formation was created by Kai Clan. As a Kai Clan Gu immortal, Kai Kiyu was very prideful. He had absolute confidence in his clan's immortal formation. Look, the formation activated. Even without us interfering, it can deal with the enemy. This refinement path killer move will end up in failure. Kai Kyu laughed. But soon, Kai Kyu's smile vanished. The formation had already undergone several changes, but no matter what, it could not deal with the refinement path killer move. The rain that was already heavy became a downpour. The downpour was unceasing. The formation was corroded to a large extent. There were goo immortal reports constantly. They had anxious tones and expressions because a large number of mortal goo were refined by the enemy in the rain. However, this formation could only work on its own at the early stages. Unless there was no choice, goo immortals could not control it. This was the lesson that the southern border goo immortals learned from the Battle of Yitian Mountain, to prevent outsiders like Fang Yuan from infiltrating and controlling the immortal formation, it was specially designed like this. Kai Kyu was helpless. He gritted his teeth and said with a look of disbelief, How can this be? What kind of refinement path killer move is this? My clan's formation is actually useless against it. Kai Kyu was simply dumbfounded. Normally speaking, Refinement Path did not have such a big advantage over Formation Path. But Fang Yuan's Formation Path attainment was very high. And most importantly, he was very familiar with this defensive formation. Even though this formation had caused him a lot of trouble in the previous life, 
Fang Yuan had threatened and lured Kai Q into cooperating afterwards. Kai Q became the biggest trader of southern border. He gave the information of this formation over to Fang Yuan. This pitiful Kai Q would never imagine that their formation was completely exposed to the enemy, and the traitor was actually their first supreme elder. Know yourself and your enemy, and you will never be defeated. Not to mention that Fang Yuan was using a rank 8 killer move. Not long after, the southern border Gu immortals in the formation became anxious as they started pacing around. What do we do? What do we do? The enemy's refinement speed is getting faster. Who is he? Possessing such a killer move, no wonder he attacked so confidently. Their Gu worm refinement speed is getting faster, we cannot keep up. At the final moment, even if we can control the formation, it will be too late. Kai Kiyu wiped the sweat off his forehead. Formation path is useless indeed. Zia Fan snorted coldly as Kai Kiyu stared fiercely. Zia Fan did not care, looking at Yang Sanmu and saying, The urgent matter now is to send out Gu Immortals to fight. We will disrupt the enemy's killer move so we can exchange Gu Worms in the formation and repair it. He was a wisdom path Gu Immortal. He had the responsibility to come up with a tactic. Yang Sanmu nodded. He was the leader. He had to stand up now. Then I will go and deal with the enemy. Even though Fang Yuan was mysterious, Yang Sanmu had a lot of confidence in himself. He was a soul path Gu Refinement, a renowned rank 7 expert in southern border. Meanwhile, Refinement Path was skilled at refining Gu. It was weaker than other paths in other aspects. Zia Fan had a joyful expression. With Brother Yang taking action personally, we will definitely kill the enemy and resolve this problem. Yang Sanmu glanced at him before flying out of the formation. He approached Fang Yuan. Come fight! Ugh! Yang Sanmu ended in defeat. How can he be this strong? Yang Sanmu was captured. A moment later, the formation was taken down by Fang Yuan even though it had a transportation function. Fang Yuan had used a refinement path method to refine it. This method was destroyed from the start. None of the Gu immortals guarding the formation escaped. Fang Yuan captured all of them. Chapter 1768, Kai Q's Anger and Grief. Plunder Shadow Earth Trench's defensive formation had been destroyed. Southern Border's super forces soon noticed this fact. The righteous path was shaken. Plunder Shadow Earth Trench's Dream Realm was the largest congregation of Dream Realms other than Yichan Mountain in southern border. Any path had its own cultivation resources. Dream Realms were evidently the unique resource for Dream Path. They contained the profundities of Dream Path within. Immortal Yi Yan's prophecy of three venerables had been ingrained in everyone's hearts. Gu Immortals knew about the future era, it was the era of Dream Path. Any super force paid huge attention to the Dream Realms, they were very careful in regards to guarding them. Plunder Shadow Formation was destroyed too rapidly, who is that culprit? According to the Gu Immortals information and our own investigation, there was only one enemy, and he was just a rank 7 Gu Immortal. A rank 7 Gu Immortal could take down this formation, and with such speed and power. This situation is really bizarre indeed. Do you think it is that demon Fang Yuan? That's unlikely. If it is Fang Yuan, why would he leave those dream realms and plunder Shadow Earth Trench untouched? He has a method to turn them into bodies after all. Different from the previous life, Fang Yuan did not keep the plunder Shadow Earth Trench's dream realms, he purposely left them. This caused Southern Border's righteous path to start guessing randomly. Fang Yuan's identity was well concealed. At once, Southern Border's Gu Immortals were wondering who that Gu Immortal who attacked the formation was. Who had the guts to challenge Southern Border's righteous path? Who had such methods to destroy a super immortal formation with ease? What was his purpose? Was he just trying to suppress Southern Border's righteous path? He had enmity towards the righteous path? Or maybe, he had some gains in dream path. 
he was making use of the dream realms. Among all of the southern border righteous path forces, the most unhappy one was Kai clan's first supreme elder Kai Kyu. Plunder Shadow Earth Trenches immortal formation had a secret backdoor. Kai Kyu had left it behind. To prevent the dream realms from getting stolen, he had planned in advance to set that arrangement. When Fang Yuan attacked the formation, he rapidly sensed it. He hesitated on whether to use this backdoor or not. After all, he had done that sneakily. If he exposed it now, his reputation in Southern Border's righteous path would be tarnished. By the time he sensed something wrong and wanted to use the backdoor, Fang Yuan's refinement path killer move had already broken it. Kai Q felt gloomy and irritated. In the previous life, after Fang Yuan exposed his identity and could not destroy the formation in time, Kai Kyu made up his mind and transported himself into the formation secretly. But in this life, Fang Yuan annexed Lang Nya Blessed Land. His strength was much higher now at the same time period. Kai Kyu did not have much time to react to this. The truth was, he had a chance but he hesitated, he did not make use of it. Of course, even if he used the back door to arrive before Fang Yuan, he would not be a problem. Soon, Kai Kyu's irritation got worse. Out of nowhere, rumors started to spread. They said that the formation was so easily broken without giving the righteous path any time to send reinforcements because Kai clan had a traitor. Precisely because this traitor exposed the formation's secret, the mysterious Gu Immortal could easily destroy it. This is slander, these are baseless rumors, my Kai clan will definitely investigate properly, all these people will face our judgment, Kai Q reacted quickly. He immediately made an announcement, displaying his stance. But the rumors spread even quicker. Lots of different stories emerged. Some were clearly fake news while others were quite reasonable. The righteous path Gu immortals became quite suspicious. Kai Q was extremely angry. He had been feeling gloomy the last few days. These rumors were attacking him. His reputation that was built up over a long time was starting to fall rapidly. How can my Kai clan divulge information? The mastermind behind this is truly vicious. Kai Q stood up and made his point. He felt regret now. Had he known this, he would have taken the risk to transport himself over last time. Even if that back door is exposed and I suffer criticism, I will at least be able to capture the mysterious culprit. Kai Q was very confident in himself because he felt that the enemy was a rank 7 Gu immortal. Regarding this guess, other than the evidence present, Kai Q also had his own train of thought. If this was a rank 8, they could attack directly. Why was there a need to hide themselves and act mysteriously? Some righteous path Gu immortals consoled him and expressed their trust towards Kai clan. While some righteous path Gu immortals, like the ones from Yang clan which had always been opposing Kai clan, had much worse tones. It is not that hard to believe that it was an inside job. Our Yang clan had terrible losses. Yang Sanmu is a rank 7 expert. He lost too quickly, that was not normal. Evidently, someone leaked his information. There were even Yang clan Gu immortals blaming Kai Q directly. Since Lord Kai Q is claiming innocence now, how do you explain why the leaked contents of the immortal formation are all accurate? Kai Q had nothing to say. He was also troubled over this. However, he had to speak righteously and keep a firm attitude. There is no need to explain this. The formation's details are not just known by my Kai clan. In terms of suspicion, any super clan involved in this has a possibility of being a traitor. Admitting that Kai clan had a traitor was too damaging to their reputation. Kai Q swore to himself that he would never admit it no matter what. If a traitor really appears, I will pull out their tendons and rip their skin. I will crush every bone in their body, Kai Q cursed. He hated the mysterious enemy, but he also held huge grudges towards Kai clan's possible traitor. The laughable thing was, Kai clan really had a traitor. It was himself. Of course, that was the previous life's matter. Even Kai Q had no idea this would happen. 
In other words, his circumstances were all caused by himself. But no matter how Kai Q defended himself or pushed his stand, rumors about Kai clan continued to spread and intensify. Looking at this situation, it seems that other than the enemy who attacked, the other southern border forces are also adding fuel to the fire. Yang clan is definitely involved. Kai Q was very angry, even with his rank 8 cultivation level and formation path great grandmaster attainment, he was without options in this situation. In the rules of the righteous path, cultivation level was not everything. There is only one way now, I need to find the instigator. That's right, as long as I can capture them and unveil the truth, I can get the whole of Southern Border's righteous path to shut up. Kai Q almost wanted to shout, return my innocence, return my reputation. But if he really found the culprit, who knows what expression or idea he would have. Chapter 1769, Variant Human Race Inheritances Kai Q was so old, but he had to manage Kai clan's affairs tirelessly. For the great era, he even had to work hard to nurture his lacking inheritor. The truth was, Kai Q did not have it easy at all, and these rumors were still trying to defame him. Kai Q was very angry and upset. He gritted his teeth as he waited for Fang Yuan to appear again. As the culprit, Fang Yuan had been living peacefully these last days, he had a very fulfilling time. He was managing his immortal aperture. The immortal aperture was the foundation of a Gu immortal. If the immortal aperture management was poor, no matter how strong a Gu immortal was, they would achieve nothing much. Lang Ya Blessed Land had completely integrated into the sovereign immortal aperture. After its origin core was unsealed, Fang Yuan quickly annexed it. Fang Yuan let Lang Ya Land Spirit do the work of changing the variant human Gu Immortals Alliance Agreement. The new alliance agreement was strict and had strong binding terms. It ensured that Fang Yuan had the supreme authority and status. All of the variant human Gu Immortals were his subordinates and vassals. There was a rule, all of the variant humans will contribute their immortal apertures into the sovereign immortal aperture after they die. Thus, Fang Yuan's Grotto Heaven gained many new blessed lands. These blessed lands belonged to the unlucky variant humans who had died at Chen Yi's hands during the Battle of Lang Ya Blessed Land. The hairy man Gu immortals were shocked at this, but Lang Ya Land Spirit had great prestige, Along with Sixth Hair's cooperation, they quickly accepted the fact. The other variant human Gu immortals were unwilling to do so, but with Fang Yuan's strength, they could not resist, they could only accept it. Of course, Fang Yuan was an old schemer, his political manipulation was not worse than Wu Yang. He also set a rule for himself in the alliance agreement. He would fully nurture the variant humans without any discrimination. When the alliance agreement became effective, he gave these variant human Gu immortals a lot of benefits immediately. In fact, he even secretly sent a portion of the variant human Gu immortals to the Stone Lotus Island secretly, they were able to enjoy the effects of future self and gain greater knowledge. The variant human Gu immortals were extremely shocked, they realized now that Fang Yuan was actually backed by the most mysterious venerable in history. Red Lotus Demon Venerable. As a result, they lost all thoughts of betrayal. Of course, Zhu Er, Bing Zhuo and others were not given the chance to use future self. According to the ink effect, Fang Yuan had already killed them in the previous life. They did not exist in the lower stream of the river of time. They had no future. It was easy to deceive them. Fang Yuan said that the Stone Lotus Island had a limit. Future self-killer move needed time to accumulate and recover. The alliance agreement stated that they needed to be honest with Fang Yuan, but he could choose to keep secrets from them after all. Of course, this was not fair. But with Fang Yuan's use of the carrot and stick, these variant human Gu immortals could only lower their heads and accept their fate. The truth was, Fang Yuan indeed wanted to nurture these variant humans. There were several points. Firstly, the more variant humans there were, the more lifespan Gu would be produced. While Fang Yuan had no concerns about this now, 
he could start preparing early. Secondly, Fang Yuan was starting an attempt to comprehend human path. The more humans or variant humans he raised, the more helpful it would be towards his human path comprehension. And thirdly, the racial inheritances of the variant humans. Back then, when the human immortal venerables and demon venerables emerged, suppressing all ten variant human races and slaughtering them, the variant humans had little hope towards the future. It was full of despair. The variant humans realized that this was bad. All of them worked together to create their racial inheritances that contained the most valuable possessions of their own race, hiding them for their future generations to leave hope for the future. According to the understanding of the variant humans, Fate Gu was part of the Heavenly Tao. It took away surpluses while replenishing deficits. They acknowledged that there was the decree humanity is supreme. But this decree would not last forever, right? The variant humans were not wrong in this regard, but they had not expected star constellation immortal venerable to be so brazen as to become one with the Tao. This resulted in the long-lasting rule of humanity. The variant humans were stunned. They were suppressed until now. But this was advantageous to Fang Yuan too. According to the information that Lang Yalan spirit had, when the number of variant human mortals and Gu immortals reach a certain number, their racial inheritances would appear to them, it would help them grow and develop. In history, the variant humans had never risen up, so these racial inheritances were mostly preserved. According to Lang Yalan spirit's guess, the racial inheritance of hairy men was the infallible inheritance. Infallible blessed land was at Hairy Foot Mountain, even though Heavenly Court found it they had great difficulty in trying to obtain it. The heavenly court which had immense foundation and geniuses were simply without options against infallible blessed land. Eventually, they relied on human path methods to try and extract a part of infallible blessed land's wealth. But no heavenly court Gu immortal had actually managed to enter this secluded blessed land. Nobody knew what the inside of infallible blessed land looked like. In the previous life, even though Fang Yuan destroyed Hairy Foot Mountain, infallible blessed land was still intact. All these reasons showed how profound and special infallible blessed land was. This proved that the variant human racial inheritances were extremely extraordinary and mysterious. This was also why Fang Yuan had not gone to Hairy Foot Mountain, yet even though he had fixed immortal travel and its modified killer move. According to his previous life's memories, at this point in time, Heavenly Court had not set up the 9-9 consecutive unceasing formation at Hairy Foot Mountain. Despite this, even if Fang Yuan tried to launch a sneak attack using fixed immortal travel, he could not do anything to infallible blessed land. Heavenly Court seems to have found a way to destroy infallible blessed land, but I do not have any for now. Even if I do, would Fairy Zai why not guard against that? Sneak attacking it is simply too risky. After thinking about it deeply, Fang Yuan gave up on attacking Hairy Foot Mountain. This idea was too risky, it underestimated his enemy's intelligence, it also went against Fang Yuan's vigilant nature. After annexing Lang Ya Blessed Land, Fang Yuan's gains were huge. Let alone anything else, he benefited the most from information. The variant human racial inheritances were the most obvious example. Langya Blessed Land had simply too long of a history. It had existed for over 300,000 years. How long had it been since Fang Yuan became immortal? Even with the 500 years of his previous life, he had not reached 600 years. Lang Ya Land spirit knew a lot of historical secrets. Before being annexed, he would not tell Fang Yuan everything. But now, he kept no secrets to himself. Several days later. Southern border, above contact Heart Riverbank. Jade green light flickered weakly, before green bubbles started to appear. Rank 7 killer move aura quickly spread and permeated to the surroundings. This aura? It was a rank 6 goo immortal from Kai clan who defended contact Heart Riverbank. He controlled the formation as he sensed a killer move aura. Before he acted, these jade green bubbles popped on their own. 
Each popping bubble gave off a thick green light. It spread like flowing water. A large number of bubbles vanished. In their place was a thick lump of jade green light. The green jade light was extremely bright. It gave off a radiance that could not be looked at intently. The strong light appeared and faded just as quickly. When the green light vanished entirely, a person appeared in the sky. He wore a green robe. His complexion was as clear as jade. His nose was tall, and he was handsome to the point of looking like a peerless beauty. His skin was white as snow. His eyes were dark like the abyss. He had long luscious black hair that resembled a waterfall, hanging straight down to his waist. The rank six Gu immortal from Kai clan defending this place saw the person's appearance and his mouth opened wide. His heart was pounding as he felt a chill. His body broke out in cold sweat. Fang, Fang Yuan? Ever since Fang Yuan escaped from Thunder Ghost True Monarch and sold her three rib bones in Treasure Yellow Heaven, his reputation surpassed Fang Ju Ji. He was publicly recognized as the number one rank seven expert. He had the power to fight rank eight. After the Battle of Lang Ya Blessed Land, Heavenly Court lost. Even though Fairy Zai Y concealed Chen Yi's and Thunder Ghost True Monarch's deaths, she took responsibility and announced the failure of Heavenly Court to invade Lang Ya Blessed Land to the public. Feng Jiu Ji was pursued by Fang Yuan. Half of his immortal goo were stolen. She had placed the video of this in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Thus, everyone knew now that Fang Yuan not only had rank 7 fixed immortal travel, he even annexed Lang Ya Blessed Land and possibly had a method to steal immortal Gu. After defeating Feng Ji, Fang Yuan's reputation stabilized and even improved. He was a common topic among countless Gu immortals. Kai clan's rank 6 Gu immortal saw the great demon Fang Yuan appear. Why would he dare to stay any longer? Faster, 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 he activated the formation, teleporting away for his dear life. Fang Yuan was still savoring the immortal killer move he used earlier Jade Flow Pearl. This killer move used rank 7 fixed immortal travel as the core and almost all of Fang Yuan's current space path immortal goo, a few refinement path immortal goo, and a lot of supplementary mortal goo to construct. Fang Yuan annexed Lang Ya Blessed Land and became rank 8. His Tao marks increased immensely. Just the rank 7 fixed immortal travel alone could not teleport him. Only by creating a killer move and increasing its power could he barely be moved. In the previous life, he had also created a space path killer move with fixed immortal travel as the core to transport him when having rank 8 cultivation level. But Jade Flow Pearl was different from the previous life's killer move. The previous life's fixed immortal travel killer move was a space path killer move, while this current move was a compound killer move of space path and refinement path. One of the reasons was that the fixed immortal travel killer move in his previous life was created after Fang Yuan extorted Southern Border's Righteous Path and obtained many specific space path rank 7 immortal goo. But now, he had not ambushed Zia Cha yet, not to mention the rest of Southern Border's Righteous Path. Fang Yuan's space path immortal goo mostly came from Lang Ya Blessed Land's inventory now. Most were rank 6, and they were not very compatible. Thus, Fang Yuan used Refinement Path Immortal Gu to modify the killer move intensively. With the power of Refinement Path, Fang Yuan's Refinement Path Dao marks were no longer a burden to the teleportation. This was the advantage of Compound Killer Moves. But Compound Killer Moves were much harder to deduce. Fang Yuan could deduce it quickly because he had quasi-supreme refinement path attainment level and the light of wisdom. Fang Yuan put away the thoughts in his mind for now as he looked down. For a range of hundreds of Lai, there were mountains and forests. But below him, there was a flat land that was about half a square kilometer large. It was covered in smoke and fog. Fang Yuan pointed as dragons flew out, roaring with a grand and fierce aura. It was immortal killer move Myriad Dragon. Fang Yuan refined Myriad Self Immortal Goo successfully. It took very little time to activate Myriad Dragon now. 
the myriad dragons rushed into the fog and smoke, easily destroying the defensive method below. Similar to the previous life, the defending Kai clan Gu Immortal had already escaped. Fang Yuan smiled. This was within his expectations. He had purposely exposed his identity for this. In the previous life, he had learned about the cowardice of this Kai clan Gu Immortal. This time around, he achieved a great effect by doing the same action. Of course, Fang Yuan had to expose his identity regardless. Because he used fixed immortal travel, and also because of the killer moves he was using, there was no use in trying to conceal his identity. Chapter 1770 Kai Q Convinces Himself A shallow deep blue lake surrounded by silent verdant mountains. Around the lake were pure white round rocks, they stacked at the river bank. This was a mid-sized resource point of southern border's Kai clan contact heart river bank. Fang Yuan placed all the goo worms he obtained into his immortal aperture. There were more than 3,000 rank 5 contact heart goo. 50,000 rank 4, and over a million were rank 3 and below. Next, he used Strength Path Immortal Goo Pulling Water. Similar to the previous life, Pulling Water was currently rank 6. After a moment, the river water was pulled up like silk by a formless force before being moved into Fang Yuan's Immortal Aperture. This Contact Heart River Bank was a special area filled with Wisdom Path Dao Marks. There were earth path, water path, wood path, and other Tao marks as foundation, but they paled in quantity compared to wisdom path. Fang Yuan took away the water which had dense wisdom path Tao marks, but most of it remained in the surrounding soil. Fang Yuan was without options regarding this. He lacked methods to pull up the ground. This was not mortal soil, and it required at least peak rank 7 earth path methods. One had to overcome the wisdom path Tao marks in the soil first. And the method had to be delicate. It could not destroy the wisdom path Tao marks in the soil. If the wisdom path Tao marks were destroyed, the value of the soil would drop. This was like smearing a world-class painting. It would have no value remaining. Specific methods were required to plunder and move resources in the outside world, but destroying them was easier. It was like Heavenly Court's attempt to gain infallible blessed land. Heavenly Court had a method to destroy infallible blessed land, but to extract its success Tao marks, they had to spend a lot of effort and use human path methods. The Central Continent Refinement Path Convention expended a lot of time and effort. Fang Yuan's appearance in Plundering Contact Heart River Bank soon reached Kai Q. Kai Q Yu was still slightly hopeful at first, is the information true? Soon, his hopes were completely crushed. Because there was an immortal killer move resembling fixed immortal travel as well as Fang Yuan's signature myriad dragon killer move, those were concrete evidence. Why did this Fang Yuan appear at Contact Heart River Bank? Kai Q's eyes twitched. Does he need a large number of Contact Heart Gu? Even though Fang Yuan had rank 7 cultivation level, he was not just a normal rank 7. He could fight rank 8. He was unique. Kai Kyu thought about the video in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Now that Fang Yuan has reobtained rank 7 fixed immortal travel, and also apparently has a method to steal immortal goo, if he tries to find trouble with my Kai clan, it would be a problem. Kai Kyu sighed internally. He had to admit, Fang Yuan was a huge problem. Fixed immortal travel allowed him to travel with ease, only specific methods could restrict him. Fang Yuan also had rank 8 battle strength. Most of Kai clan's Gu immortals could not fight him. Kai Q himself or a rank 7 immortal Gu house was needed. That way, even as a super force, Kai clan only had limited resources to deal with him. As for the theft path method, it should not be Fang Yuan's own ability. Right now, Fang Yuan has not shown any method in this aspect. While Long Hair Ancestor had refined Gu with Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable back then, Langya Blessed Land has a Thieving Heaven True Inheritance. Fang Yuan could resist Heavenly Court because he made use of Langya Blessed Land's foundation. Fang Yuan annexed Langya Blessed Land, 
he would still need some time before he can master this thieving heaven true inheritance. Kai Qiu evaluated. He felt that he was really unlucky recently. Fang Yuan had actually targeted his Kai clan out of all the clans. Wasn't this bad luck? Even though Fang Yuan gave Kai Q a huge headache, he had to counterattack. Kai clan's benefits, their righteous path status, and the pride of a rank 8 Gu immortal. These reasons forced him to go and defeat Fang Yuan quickly. Kai Q led the expedition personally, controlling Great Space Temple and traveling towards Contact Heart River Bank as soon as possible. The formation was destroyed, it was a ravaged site, everything was in ruins. A vast number of goo worms were gone. Contact Heart River Bank had lost all vitality. The river water was also gone. It had completely dried up. It was truly a sad sight. Even the rocks around the bank were missing. Fang Yuan took literally everything from this place. Kai Kyu had an ashen expression. The other Kai clan Gu immortals started scolding Fang Yuan and cursing his 18 generations of ancestors. This demon is too daring. This is a mid-size resource point of our clan. Now that it is plundered, it might not recover even after a few years of time. Sigh, there is no point in cursing Fang Yuan's 18 generations of ancestors. He is an otherworldly demon. He killed all of his ancestors in this world with his own two hands. Kai clan's Gu immortals gradually stopped scolding as they frowned at this terrible situation. Contact Heart River Bank was destroyed, but its foundation remained. Fang Yuan could not bring the soil here with him. But the problem was Fang Yuan himself. He was still alive. Would he show up again? Would he target Kai Clan again? Kai Clan did not understand even at this point. Why did Fang Yuan choose Contact Heart River Bank? Wait, earlier, the mysterious Gu immortal who attacked Plunder Shadow Earth Trench and destroyed the formation. Was it Fang Yuan? Someone suggested. Hmm. It is very likely. They are both rank 7 Gu immortals with extraordinary battle strength. Fang Yuan also had high formation path attainment. He can definitely destroy both formations. Furthermore, he annexed Lang Ye Blessed Land and has refinement path immortal Gu now. Didn't that mysterious Gu Immortal use refinement path methods? But if that mysterious Gu Immortal is Fang Yuan, why would he conceal his own appearance when attacking Plunder Shadow Earth Trench? This time, when attacking our clan's contact Heart River Bank, he chose to expose his own identity. Many of Kai Clan's Gu Immortals turned their heads in suspicion. They simply could not understand why. Firstly, there was no evidence that linked the mysterious Gu Immortal to Fang Yuan directly. Secondly, Fang Yuan's motive in attacking Contact Heart River Bank was unknown. Nobody knew what he was up to. First Supreme Elder, what do we do now? Kai Clan's Gu Immortals did not have any answers. They asked Kai Q. Kai Q's expression eased. He had been screaming internally long ago. He also wanted to know what Fang Yuan was planning. By the time they arrived, Fang Yuan was gone already. Kai Kuyu was in a really awkward and passive situation. But on the surface, he had to maintain the dignity of Kai clan's leader. Don't panic, investigate the scene and search for evidence. Even if Fang Yuan escapes now, our Kai clan will remember this. He will pay us back a hundredfold in the future. Yes, Lord, Kai clan's Gu immortals answered. The huge Great Space Temple floated in mid-air, not concealing its aura as it displayed Kai Clan's authority in full view. A while later, all the Gu Immortals returned with a look of embarrassment. Fang Yuan had done a good job in cleaning up the scene. No clues of value were left. Even if they had clues, could they deduce anything about him? Kai Q bore no hope himself. Even Heavenly Court failed to deal with Fang Yuan. Kai clan specialized in formation path. They were weak in information path and wisdom path aspects. If our Kai clan wants to regain reputation, we will need to spend a lot on information and clues before hiring a wisdom path great expert to deduce them. After that, we need to set an ambush. Go after Fang Yuan and fight him. Sigh. Kai Q sighed internally. 
thinking about the process, he felt a little dejected. The price and risks were too high while the gains were minimal. Only rank 8 goo immortals that were wisdom path or information path great experts could handle Fang Yuan. People like that would require a huge amount before they would help Kai clan with this matter. And after finding Fang Yuan, Kai clan would need to fight him, it was questionable if they could actually kill him. Thunder Ghost True Monarch went after Fang Yuan and got three of her rib bones sold in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Heavenly Court wanted to invade Lang Ya Blessed Land and it ended up being annexed by him. Feng Ju Ji's immortal Gu were even stolen by Fang Yuan, while Fairy Zai Wai had to openly announce that they lost the battle. What did Kai Clan have? Yes, it was a super force, but could it compare to Heavenly Court? Even Heavenly Court had no options against Fang Yuan, even though Fairy Zai Wai hated him to the core, so what? Even though Fang Yuan is a single person, he cultivates many paths, he has no clear weaknesses, he is a cunning and crafty person, he is ruthless and devious, even Wu Yang was toyed around by him. Earlier, even when Southern Border's righteous path went after him, he still escaped. I want to go after him with just Kai clan, he he. Kai Q felt very angry but also helpless and sad. Fang Yuan had grown too quickly, Kai Kyu felt extremely deep wariness towards him. Even though Fang Yuan had rank 7 cultivation level, he is more troublesome than most rank 8 Gu Immortals. Ordinary rank 8 Gu Immortals cultivate one path, they do not have deep wisdom path attainment or fixed immortal travel. If Fang Yuan can stop now and not go after Kai clan's resources, I should let this go. Kai Q sighed in his heart. He had decided to give up. Contact Heart River Bank was destroyed, but its foundation remained, it could still be developed. Or rather, in arrogant terms, it was just a mid-sized resource point. Kai Clan could afford to lose it. Of course, on the surface, we need to be very angry and upset. We will speak righteously and create a commotion. We cannot ruin the reputation of Kai Clan. But secretly, I need to restrain my Gu Immortals and keep on guard. We will mainly cultivate and maintain our resources. If during this period, Fang Yuan targets the resources of other clans, that would be great. A moment later, Kai Kyu made up his mind, he convinced himself on this plan. Making a rank 8 Gu Immortal lower his head alongside his super force, it was not easy. But Kai Kyu was a wise leader, he knew the big picture. There was no benefit in challenging this demon. If Kai clan mobilized everyone, he could give Fang Yuan huge problems indeed. He could even threaten his life. But Kai clan would pay an immense price. It would be too much to handle. If this situation happened in Northern Plains, the entire tribe might be riled up. They would attack directly without thinking. But in Southern Border, isn't it better to live calmly and peacefully? Even if they lose a mid-sized resource point, Kai Clan still has others, and even countless small-sized, large-sized, and giant resource points. They could live very well. They might lose some reputation, but their foundation would be unaffected. The nail that sticks out gets hammered down. If Kai Clan went after Fang Yuan with full force and went down with him in flames, the other super forces would benefit and take the advantage. What would they do then? Kai Kyu let out a breath of air, he wanted to vent out all of his anger and frustrations. Soon, he calmed down. Report. Fang Yuan has appeared at our clan's Cloud Bamboo Mountain Range. He destroyed the formation, and our two Gu Immortals could not resist him. Right now, Fang Yuan is scavenging for all sorts of resources, among which is a newly formed Wild Wood Path Immortal Gu. Kai Kyu heard this and his expression froze. His heart that had just calmed down instantly became filled with overwhelming rage. Fang Yuan, screw your entire lineage of ancestors. 